Method one, phone meetings. Now, this is probably the most self-explanatory method, but there is a little more to it than meets the eye. I mean, at least if you want to do it successfully. Now, I pointed out to use tangible phone books or an online directory listing of uh, local businesses in your area. So take each and every business that looks good and write down the name, the address, and the phone number, or type it down, whichever you prefer. Now, give them a call. And when someone answers, ask, can I speak with the owner? And hopefully they're going to transfer you. Now, if they say that the owner isn't in, ask for the manager. Now, just make an effort to talk to the highest up person that you can. And once you've got them on the phone, make sure that you've got your brochure handy. And this is where a little engineering will come into play. Okay, so introduce yourself and make sure to tell them what your business name is and that you help small businesses make a footprint online. Or at least tell them that you're a freelance marketer that helps small businesses do the same. Now you can tell them something like the following. You can be like, hey, you know, and say that casually. Hey, this is, insert your name, from, uh, you know, insert your business name there. And you can say, I'm inquiring to see if you'd be interested in my marketing services that can potentially boost your sales and increase your customer potential. Then go on to say, I offer a few services that seem like they fit your business well. And if you'd like to hear what I can do for you, I'd be happy to go over some stuff with you. And then the ever classic, can you spare just a couple minutes? And that's all there is to it. You see, it's really not that hard. You just make sure that you're laid back and it's more of a casual conversation. It doesn't have to be intimidating or anything. Just look over your brochure and either read directly from the descriptions that you've written down or paraphrase and make it fit into the mood of the conversation. Now, the more that you do this, the easier it becomes and the better you get at it. Now, sometimes a bigger impact is when you actually bring them your brochure. So when you're on the phone with them, after you ask if they've got a few minutes to spare, tell them that you can also bring them the little brochure during hours of operation. So if you talk to them and get it all squared on the phone, still ask that you bring it to them sometime. Just say something like, well, tell you what, I'll be in the area soon, so I'll maybe just drop off the brochure with an employee and it would be my pleasure. Okay, method two, in-person stop. Now, don't be freaked out, don't be intimidated, don't stress, don't get anxious, don't worry, and don't anticipate this. Don't think about it at all, actually. I mean, because meeting someone in person is seriously not a bad thing at all, and it's a lot easier than you probably think. It's, it's going to be your fear of meeting someone that's going to be worse than actually meeting someone. So, do you remember how I mentioned earlier that you can cash in on offline marketing since most people aren't doing this? Well, here's your ticket. Now, ask yourself how many people are involved in online versus offline marketing. And then factor in how many times you think that that particular business uh, that you want to contact has been approached by someone like yourself. I'm willing to bet never. And that's exactly where you're going to be cashing in big time. Okay, so just gather all of the business names and their addresses onto a sheet of paper. Go to Google Maps or someplace like that, or MapQuest if you prefer, and try setting up a route for you to drive that makes things easy without many detours, or even try and get Google Maps or MapQuest to figure out the route for you. Now, once you've got this figured out, um, we need to take a look at the game plan here. Now, dress nicely. That goes without saying. And uh, bring your address sheet and drive to your first prospect and also have your brochures handy. Now walk in, ask to speak to the owner or the manager. And if they're not available, give a brochure or two to an employee. But before you do, write a short note mentioning that you stop by and that you like to talk to them. You know, tell them to uh, give it to the owner and the manager and that you'd like to hear back from them. Now, let's say that you come directly into contact with the owner or the manager. Now, you want to approach them, and when you're introducing yourself, hand them the brochure. You know, make sure uh, to get who you are, what you do, and uh, what you can offer to them out of the way completely before they're allowed time to respond. This will put them on the spot, as people call it, and that's good. 
Now, the tricky part is figuring out exactly how to engineer them. Now, this will depend on exactly what the person's response is. I mean, you'll come into two basic scenarios. The first one is the person will outright tell you they're not interested. And the second is, they may be interested, but they'll have to think about it. Now, in each of these cases, tell them that your phone number and email is on the brochure and that you'd like to hear from them sometime. Just reassure them that it's no problem to contact you at all. And sometimes, you'll even get lucky and have them be all for what you're offering right on the spot. So, back to the engineering that I was talking about. Okay, scenario one is where they're not interested, so just tell them to please contact you if they ever think you can be of service to them, and that you'd be happy to talk with them sometime. Now walk back to your car, and put an X next to their name on your address sheet, and just hope that they call you in the future. You know, just X them off or work them off there. And scenario two is where they're undecided. Now, if they tell you this, inform them that for the first time, a discount is available, or just generally say that there's a special of some kind. Now, this is where you can use any and every technique that you can possibly imagine to get them a bit more interested in contacting you someday. Now, just make sure to leave an impression on them and have them anxious to give you a call or an email. And as already mentioned, sometimes they'll take you up on your offer right on the spot, and that's excellent. So just go with the flow and try to establish rapport with them. You know, be a little laid back and possibly even crack a joke or something. And this is going to make them feel more at home and comfortable with you. And explain anything that you feel is necessary and answer any question that they may have. And once everything is out of the way, tell them that you're available to be contacted and say that you hope to hear from them soon. Bam. That's it. Method 3. Email. Okay, since you're a marketer, you pretty much know how this works, but we're going to get into this because it has a little twist. And as a side note, email may be far less effective um, due to so many businesses uh, not having a presence on the web, so you have no email addresses to email. But sometimes businesses do have a small site up but with very little marketing flash. Okay, instead of conversing with them strictly via email, whenever you do eventually have an email address of 35 to send letters to, this is where we're going to step it up a little bit. Now, when you're writing an email to a business somewhere in there, uh, make sure that you mention that you'd like to either give them a call to discuss someday, or even tell them that you'd like to come down and talk things over someday. Once again, remember, if you're scared of all of this in-person stuff, just remember how many people are not doing this, and how much you can cash in where they fail. Okay. So, in your email, let them know that you've got brochures, I'm talking like tangible ones, uh, to hand out, and leave them with your website address, and let them have a look at your services, and hopefully they'll like what they see, and you'll have a new client in no time. Now, as you can see, this isn't that complicated. You can use your own intuition and tweak any and every little thing that I just said uh, to the way that you see fit, and I bet you anything it will be just as effective. I mean, this isn't rocket science, and you'll especially have a greater chance of targeting these local offline businesses since they're not used to being approached by a marketing firm. And actually, they may be the ones that are intimidated by you. And plus, they may think of themselves as all the more successful because they actually grab the attention of someone who works in business. And that's just more uh, fuel for the fire, and it increases your chances of landing a client. So once they get into the frame of mind that they've actually attracted you into their store, they'll probably think, well, it's time to step it up. I've got these business people coming into my office now. And that's where you can go get them.